Hey guys, it's Adam here. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you guys uh, just a little, uh, a few modifications I did to my uh, blade and duct tricks to make it run a little bit faster for you guys. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to show you guys right now. As you can see, it's pretty obvious in the front here. I drilled uh, just a few holes in there very, very gently because the camera was sort of in there and I didn't want to uh, take out the camera fully. So, I left the camera in there and just very gently I used a Dremel, bored out a few holes there, make it a bit lighter. I threw it on the actual Maker Fire frame and I got it at my local hobby shop. That was the original Blade and Duck Tricks. As you can see, it was kept on cracking, it was fragile, and it was actually heavier. And this one's a little bit sturdier and lighter, this frame. So, definitely a better option. Uh, I just threw on different props just for color, pretty much. Nothing really there. On um, the ba bottom here, as you can see, I have different motors. The same motors, actually, as the Maker Fire. And as everyone knows, the Maker Fire is a faster quad. I don't know, the motors are just better, I guess. I picked up a few of those. They are the Craze Ponies. Picked up a few of those motors right there. These are all the old ones from the Inductrix. Because it was running so, flying so slow, like I, it would just hover off the ground. And if you were to punch it, it would take probably like 5 to 10 seconds for it to get climb and like hit the ceiling. That's how slow it was on its acceleration. So then I threw in new motors, and also I threw in a bigger battery connector here to fit uh, these bigger batteries. I'm not sure what connector that is, but it's not the same as uh, these stick batteries, as you can see. They're almost the same, but the stick ones on the left-hand side are much smaller. So now I have this Maker Fire. I did some little uh, mod, just uh, nothing really, just threw some uh, whatever, cut some holes make it a uh, light, lighter weight, but that's pretty much it. And then I threw the connector I took off of there on here because my friend was flying this around and he crashed it in the uh, mangle the connector. So now I have a good connector back on here, flying with the stick batteries, same motors, just rips it. And now this one flies exact same. And these batteries pretty much weigh the same too as the stick batteries, these 200 milliamp ones. So that's what I use. I can also use those on my uh, Nano QX too. And yeah, it flies a lot better. I was gonna do the, I still might do that one trick where you uh, shorten out your flight board. You solder it up and just shorten it out so you don't get the low battery voltage. So you have longer run time. I did another video too on the two bladed props, which do give you longer run time, but then they do cut back on your throttle as well. So it's, uh, you know, you lose some and you win some. So yeah, but here's just some shit you, can guy, you guys can do. Just cut some holes in there make it less weight or even just take off the whole canopy if you want you don't really just sort of have it bare bones just like uh something like that but yeah or just have it sticking out like that but yeah it just makes it a lot faster you guys should definitely upgrade your motors get the craze pony ones it'll make it go a lot faster and i think the bigger battery connector too helps out a lot compared to this uh small one even though this uh maker fire is still running really fast compared to the Inductrix, but now they're both pretty much the same. So they both have all the same hardware, same lighter frames, sturdier frames, same motors. And yeah, just the uh, same weight in the batteries, just different connector and uh, yeah. So there's something you guys can do to your blade Inductrix or whatever, make your fire if you wanna make it lighter too, just cut some holes in there, as you can see. And uh, yeah, or just take off the whole canopy if you want or whatever. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and uh, see you later.